Hey guys, it's Duncan here, KH fan. Um, bringing you an album review, and we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing an album review of Van Halen's new and upcoming release, which is coming out February 7th, called "A Different Kind of Truth." Comes out next week on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> and before I get into the album, this is actually gonna be a three view. It's gonna be between me, I am Count Kronos, and Cover Killer Nation. So. Just want to let you know, as soon as those, uh, I mean, I think uh, Kronos is posting his tonight. So he told me he was putting his up tonight, and I'm going to probably put mine up tonight. Um, and I'll put his in, this, in the description below, as well as uh, Cover Killer Nations, whenever he puts his up. So look out for those two. Um, what do I have to say about this record? Um, first off, it's uh, the first album with David Lee Roth back in the band since 1984. On the album 1984, um, and honestly, I just didn't, I just can't enjoy any of the stuff that they did after that album, up until now. Um, this also is an album that first features um, uh, Eddie Van Halen's son Wolfgang, who is the current bass player for Van Halen, has been for the last few years or so, and uh, yeah, he kind of shows his bass skills on this uh, album. Now. The uh, the first song on the album is obviously the song that everybody's heard, Tattoo. Now, I thought it was a really... I mean, if you saw my review of it a while back, um, I thought it was a pretty catchy tune. Um, it sounds like the old school Van Halen we all know and love from the late 70s to early 80s. Late, late 70s to early 80s. Sorry about my mumbling right there. Um, it's, it, it definitely has that same sound from those previous albums. I mean, not gonna lie, it's like it's almost the same production value as those albums. It's what it sounds like to me from my point of view. Um that's I mean, that's a really good song, but it just gets better on it just gets better from there on. Um some of my favorite songs would have to be Chinatown, uh Blood and Fire, Bullet Head, Honey Baby Sweetie Doll, which is like one big giant word combined with like four. So, like, four words into one. I don't know why they did that, but... Hey, it's, it's, it's a decent song. Um, Trouble With Never, Stay Frosty, and I'd have to say uh, but, uh, Big River. A lot of it does... I mean, a lot of the songs remind me of some of the old songs. Like, some of it reminds me of songs like Panama, Jump. Well, not quite Jump, but, like, some other ones. Uh, the song Stay Frosty, kind of, like... I don't know what, but it kind of almost makes you want to think it's, like, a sequel to the song Ice Cream Man. Which, it kind of has that same catchiness to it, like that song did, with the acoustic guitar. And, yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, so, and I forgot which, uh, I mean, David Lee Roth does some of his, like, uh, you'll notice it in the album, he does some of his, uh, say, kind of like low speaking vocals, kind of like that, like he's just getting really mellow and stuff, like he does on his old, on the old stuff, um, Freaking the guitar work! Wow, man, how can you not go wrong with Eddie Van Halen? I, I mean, yes, everybody knows. Like as soon as you hear a guitar solo like that, I mean, from a Van Halen, you, for, like for anyone, you could de easily tell it's Eddie Van Halen playing guitar. Like his his guitar playing is just so recognizable. You just it's, it's pretty hard to miss if you ask me. Um, Alex Van Halen, kill, oh, man, he's still killing it on the drums. I mean, he's still as good as he ever was. Um, still live, he's still kicking. Um, Wolfgang's bass playing is pretty damn good. Have to say that. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's a little audible in this album. Pretty much. And then David Lee Roth. Man, I can't, I, when I first heard the song Tattoo, he sound, he sounded just the same as he did 30 years ago. I mean, not much has changed for Van Halen. I mean, they're just getting, they're just coming back into form from the early 70s, or, uh, not early 70s, excuse me late 70s to early 80s, um, yeah, it's, I mean, what can I say, I mean, this is better than anything they've released with, uh, Sammy Hagar, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, what, 5150 was really the only somewhat decent album they put out with him, but, like, everything after that was just, like, pfft, no, I, I, honestly, I don't, 
like Sammy Hagar and Van Halen. I, I, I prefer his solo stuff, and I'm not really a fan of his other band, Chicken Foot, but that's not the case. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Van Halen. Um, um, I mean, I mean, if you've seen the freaking video for Tattoo, you can see when they're like kind of like doing like a fun little video rehearsing or whatever, and they're playing Tattoo, and like David Lee Roth still has those same old stage moves that he's always had from the early days, and yeah, I mean, it's very recognizable. It's like I said before, it has the uh, same production value from their early stuff with David Lee Roth, in my opinion. I don't know, but I mean. Take it as you will. Is it, like you can only only you can judge it from when you listen to it. Like, I think this is a pretty strong album. I mean, it's their best. It's their best work since David Lee Roth was previously in the band back in the early '80s. Um, if I were to give this album a score, I'd probably give it um, a solid 7.5 to a solid eight, like somewhere in between there. Maybe like 7.75. How about that? That'll be the, that'll be my final score. I mean, it's it's a really good album, but I could have it could have been better. I mean, the only gripe I have would have to be it was a little too short. It could have been it could have been at least five minutes longer in my opinion. But then again, all their albums are short and sweet, and that's how I like that's how I like it. So, I mean, the longest song the longest song on this album is like five minutes. That's the very last song, which is uh, Beats Working. So. I mean, if you guys are big fans of Van Halen, I suggest you go out and buy this because, I mean, it's a great comeback for them. I mean, I don't know why all the Sammy Hagar fans are bitching. David Lee Roth's clearly better. No, no questions asked. Um, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> I'm just trying to... I'm sounding like I'm enforcing opinions on people. So, anyway, 7.75 is my final score for the new Van Halen. Pretty solid release. Go out and buy it if you want to. And uh, I'll have some more album reviews later. And uh, later on, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Keep it metal.